Right. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMANow.com with the one and only Hilsha Walker. How's it going, Zach? Hello, man. How are you doing? All right, good. You're at the Straight Force Ranch supporting your teammates. And um, we rolled a little bit today. We sparred yes. a little bit today. You know, that was really uh, exciting. Yes, you beat me up. And stuff. No, I don't, I don't think that's yes, what I am. Like, you got me tired. <laughs> I, I wasn't supposed to be getting tired. <laughs> Wait, what made you go, you know, I want to try this cage fight. What, what, what was it? Did you watch it always have Yeah, you know, I've always loved martial arts. I've only martial arts for years. I've always loved it. Yeah, they started this cage fight. I don't know if that's what they did. I'm going to try school. Because I love it to that take some type of part and do something in it. And when I they ask me about a fight, you know, I love it, dude. Uh, Scott Parker and uh, Bob Cook, you know, I told you to go to uh, California and do what they call a match to make a ball. And they told me that I did very well. And it's a rehearsal. If you go to a camp, you can get into a fight. You can get into any cage. And I said, okay, how long to do that? So I uh, came out to uh, AK and I was here for about eight months. After eight months, he's like, he, he, he very ready to be in this. Well, you're ready to fight. So I've trained him for four more months. And I ended up in the cage. Two and over. Oh, yes, two and over. Oh. Yeah, it was like, funny a couple days ago. He ended up being in the fight. I guess two and over. Like, that's not a minute fight. It's only two fights. And kind of like a trial match. Yeah, yeah that's exactly right. right. And I said, okay. yo, it was something that I, I really enjoyed. Uh, you know, but I, I've been in, 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 in practicing with guys that have been doing this for a long time. And you realize where you're at. Uh, you know, I said, this is an incredible, incredible sport. You know, I'm, I'm happy to speak for it, but there's guys that are really, really fighting. They're very good fighters. I'm not even in the world. You know, I can be this world-class athlete, but you really, really need to train to do this sport. This is not a sport where you can just walk off the street thinking you can do it. You better get in a gym and train. What was your, uh, what was your martial arts background? Taekwondo and karate? <laughs> yeah, Taekwondo. I was a fifth grade. Well, that explains uh, why you're stop side kicking me when I'm going for my sliding oh, side yeah, kicks yeah, today. I, uh, okay, yeah, I've been so I was only second to degree, so that yeah, explains I, it. You I, got I, three I, degrees on me. Yeah, I've been doing Tiger Dove for years. It's funny, you know, because I used to fight in martial arts you see him? on Sundays after college football games. I would like get up, go to church, and go fight in martial arts tournament. And people just freaked out that I would do something like that. And I said, you know, what it is, it's just that. I love training. I'm a guy that loves to train. I love to learn, and uh, that's what I was doing. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not, not just impressed with your athleticism, your reaction speed, but you were stop jabbing me today. You hit me with a, a like a check hook. Yeah, that hook was really solid. You know, and your stop side kicks from any time I could try to come in on like a two for two or whatever I was trying to throw, you'd interrupt me. He's like, he's like Bruce Lee for real. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. You know, he, he was doing that kind of stuff. So. Um, you know, I, I think that's really interesting. What do you think about all, you got so many guys from AKA fighting in the next week and a half here at Strike Force. And then yes. see you next week, they got some amateurs fighting tonight. And, uh, you know, there's a lot yeah, of guys. Yeah, I'm really happy to see those guys fighting. You know, those guys train so hard in the gym. Um, Whenever they can get a fight, I'm so happy for them. Because, you know, it's tough to get fight. You know, it is very, very hard to get fights because you, know, you don't have a lot of things up there. You have a lot of, like, inside of but you don't have a lot of you know, but if you ever get guys in fights, I, I, I'm, I'm ready for it. And you know, uh, tomorrow night, you know, Daniel uh, fighting Josh McMahon. That's going to be a great, great fight. What's funny about it, you know, I love Josh. Josh and I did some uh, PR work together. I love Josh. But everyone know I got to take my boy Daniel. Yeah. I told people when Daniel got an opportunity to turn into this event, I said, Daniel, you're shocked the world. Because this guy can really fight. I've been in the gym with him for a long time. As people don't understand him. They think he's just a wrestler. But I think now he's big. This guy is a little bit different. So I think Josh Nick going to catch all he can catch tomorrow night. Do you think he's going to be on the feet? Or do you think one of the guys might... I, I was just told that Josh is going to try to get a takedown. Do you think that they need to go for a takedown? I think Josh may try to go for a takedown. I think Josh may go for a takedown because he's a good wrestler, a good jiu-jitsu guy. You know, Josh has been doing this for a long, long time. Josh ain't no joke. Josh he's a catch that. wrestling guy. That's, that's why he's what I'm saying. Okay. And you know, he, uh, you know, he was a world champion before they stripped him of his belt. So it's not like he uh, lost his belt. So uh, I think he's got a lot to prove also. But I think what Daniels is, I think Bob Cook and Javier are in the gym if they have talked Daniels and he's just going to you got to, in this sport, you've got to be all, all around. You can't just be a rascal. You can't just be a stand-up guy, a jiu-jitsu guy. you got to be an all-around fighter. Or you're not going to get that far. And that's what they've been working with Daniel is. And that's what, that's what Josh Burnett is. I think Josh Burnett is a, a true talent. He does everything he does well. And I think tomorrow night he's going to be very good. I think Gilbert uh, Fernandez and, uh, 
and uh, Josh Thompson, you know, Josh Thompson is in the gym. Josh, he uh, he lost his belt to get so Gilbert has had that long. Josh was out for a long time, he came back, and that was one of the fights of the uh, year, that fight now, which was a couple of years ago. So I think that's going to be a very, very good fight. But Gilbert is such a great, great fight. Gilbert really is. I mean, he's a, he's a you know, guy who could be playing with DJ Pons and cross over the UFC and something that never happened. But he's a guy who he's a, he's easily a good fighter. Yeah. Yeah. And I think what Josh got to do is what Josh used to do in his old school. What Josh got to do is uh, you know, do the way he got to go in there to be real, real aggressive. I think, in which is what he's going to do, be real aggressive. You can miss him. He's got to kick him to another yeah. tool. Yeah. Yeah. Gilbert really doesn't. Yeah. Gilbert's pretty yeah. much a boxer. He's yeah. a boxer yeah. and a defense yeah. man. I think that's what Josh got to do. Use his tools. I think he can be successful. I think he might count. It's going to be an interesting fight because I think Mike beat him years, years ago. So I, I think Faze Allen is. Uh, he, People sleep there. on Mike Kyle a little bit. They should. Uh, they should. Because okay, Kane, Kane is fighting uh, Bigfoot Silva, he Giant does. Head, yes. and Mike Kyle knocked him down. Yes. Like, People forget know, about that. What's, what's funny about it, Mike Kyle's got very good hands. In the gym, his hands are very, very good. So um, I'm not sure what Faze uh strategy is, but I don't know if he really wants to stand that. You know, I don't think you want to stand that too long. Mike Kyle's hands are very good. If it goes long and Fei Zhao establishes low kicks and knees yeah. and stuff, maybe that's good for him. If Kyle good. jumps on him with hands right away and comes aggressive, I do. I think he's got to be aggressive. You know, the one thing I'm glad to see is Mike is, in, Mike is really in shape. He's looking forward to his fight. He just had a beautiful little goal. So he's like, he's like, he's like he's dead, he's proud. You could use the win money there. Yeah, he could use that. Yeah. But I tell you what, it is going to be a great fight. I think the strike force call is going to be absolutely incredible. Last, last question for you is, is there any advice you could give to, you know, high school kids, young kids out there that are they're thinking about being a fighter or a football player or going into athletics? So, you know, got any advice? You know the advice I can give these guys, they got to work. And, and what I mean by that is, you got to believe in yourself and you've got to be willing to work at what you do. You know, nothing is going to come easy. I think some people think things are easy, but you know, nothing's going to come easy. If you work, continue to believe in yourself and know that you can do it, I don't care if you believe it, no one else believes it, but you got to continue to have it. I think that says it all. Thank you very much for your work. Great to be with you today. Thank you, Thank you very all much. Right, and uh, guys, go to ProMMANow.com and please subscribe to my YouTube page. Learn all kinds of techniques at Dan the Wolfman 1. Thank you. All right, sir. Thank you. Bye. Hey, man.